if you saw a player in rise of kingdoms with over 100 million power and they had 8.5 billion kill points with a vast majority of those being tier 5 units would you expect that player to be dead weight well if we take a look at this player who goes by the name of special one you can see that they are not over 100 million power at least not anymore because at the end of their kingdom's most recent kvk they were zeroed for being dead weight and i think that this is a very interesting topic that I've wanted to talk about for a while and by the way I do not blame the kingdom of this player for zeroing them if they were in fact dead weight if they were just useless and did not contribute for multiple kvks then it makes sense that a player like that who pulls so much power would have to be zeroed if they're not migrating out or voluntarily lowering power or anything like that so today we're going to take a look at the zeroing of special one from kingdom 3227 and we're going to talk about kill points and dead weight in rise of kingdoms but first what's going on guys cheers now before we go any further i do want to give a quick shout out to yeeters the 21st this player reached out to me when special one was getting zeroed and unfortunately i didn't catch this message in time i actually get a decent amount of messages in game so it's hard to keep track of everything but yeeters did actually record special one getting zeroed and sent me the video files on i think it was just via email so i would not be able to make this video if it weren't for them so huge shout out and this is a great time to remind you guys that if you do see a whale player getting zeroed in your kvk or in your home kingdom or something like that feel free to screen record it and send it to me either on discord or email or something like that if you haven't joined my discord do so in the link in the description below and of course i will gladly shout you out or whoever else you want shouted out if i do use your footage and also shout out to gangzy because this is the player that actually did the zeroing of special one i reached out to them asked them what the story was here and they confirmed to me that special one was dead weight so without further ado let's take a look here special one when scouted by eaters had this many troops in his city 6.3 million we've got a handful here of tier fours we've got a small amount of siege as well but as you can see we have 2.2 million infantry units 1.3 million tier 5 cavalry and 1.4 million tier 5 archers we have Gorgo Hera on the wall both expertise so this player is like perfectly equipped to be an infantry garrison and probably a formidable one at that considering not only are the expertise but there are tons of throwing axemen here which means that this player is the France civilization which has the highest infantry health in the game if you guys didn't know so all in all great player to be uh, a garrison leader and so what's what's the deal here why are they getting zeroed and how effective is it going to be zeroing a player with at the point of them actually doing the zeroing I think they were over 100 and about 117 to 120 million power somewhere in there and massive garrison tons of troops everything's expertise kind of insane so how did this go down well you could see of course it starts with a king skill it always starts with a king skill here with our boy Attila Takeda uh, and as you can see the white numbers coming off of this city are significantly worse than the white numbers we're seeing for the rally so right off the rip it looks like this is a giga chad rally from Gangzi, who is I mean literally right next to the city uh afterwards when I first saw these clips uh, I should say uh, I noticed that this player special one was the slave right you can see right up top here and I was a little bit confused right because I actually wasn't given any context when I was told about this player getting zeroed but I thought it was interesting like oh why would they be the slave uh clearly they're in kvk right so like what's going on here then I realized that they were in their starting zone and this player was getting rallied and zeroed by their own kingdom uh so here we have Gangzi again coming in with the Attila Takeda still an incredible army for zeroing player cities just in general this is tried and true right like Attila Takeda it just ticks so much white damage over time that you get really great trades uh, it takes a little bit of time to actually pull off the zeroing but it is going to give you a great result nonetheless so if you're able to do the zeroing of the city in a protected area let's say in kvk you know you might not want to send this march super far away because you're going to have to send multiple um but regardless Attila Takeda is again tried and true so here you can see there are some scouts coming in to see what actually is going on over here the alliance tags have been dropped they obviously were kicked from the alliance given the slave tag 
and uh they weren't even in prison or anything like that i guess they didn't really need it because this player didn't come online and even still to this day if you search for special one as a governor in the game uh you are unable at least i am at the time of recording this you're unable to click on their profile it doesn't show up which means this player went offline and then they just never came back on after getting zeroed right so here we can see a massive <laughs> massive uh cursor there no idea what's going on uh but we could see that the rally is in red already a little bit uh sooner than the garrison itself but we have a nice reinforcement coming in here from the players that are nearby so this is clearly coordinated players are you know you know bringing troops in and out of that rally to make sure that it stays full this was the first at least this is the first rally that i got a recording of but uh it was the longest running rally that we that i see here of all the video files that i have so this was like the main zeroing of the player city this did a lot of the hard work here but yeah i mean it's like six million troops worth of worth of zeroing so it's going to take quite a while and it is unfortunate to have a player like this get zeroed in your kingdom because it has so much power and so much potential and so many tier five units so many great commanders right if this player has uh, gorgo and hera expertise you can only imagine what other players or what other commanders they have expertise in their city and if you take a look at the city skin here that's the other thing that's like crazy to me this is like a pretty recent zenith of power city skin right like 12 percent troop attack and the action point recovery you lose the archer defense but like this is a great city skin and so the fact that this player who's getting zeroed you know think about how many years of speed ups you need to have to win a zenith of power and it depends on your bracket it depends on your continent things like that also this zenith of power skin arguably less competed over uh than others right because it is troop attack but it's universal which is like kind of it's kind of good so to have this player you know have a recent zenith of power skin a strong zenith of power skin meaning they pushed power recently and they have the meta garrison's expertise gorgo hera it's kind of shocking that they would just be dead weight right they would just not contribute during the kvk and they would get zeroed it's a bit weird at least to me right i i don't understand it i don't understand why players who are so active so recently just completely fall off out of nowhere uh but regardless you can still see here that the garrison taking way bigger white numbers here than the white numbers on the uh, on the rally here still getting the reinforcements over and over and over again obviously the red numbers coming from the skill shots of gorgo and hera are quite good but it's not enough to you know overcome the fact that i mean every single second is like half of a skill shot from gorgo from this rally's Attila Takeda, right? So again, Attila Takeda, just a very powerful, slow burning army here. You can see that we've got some people doing barbs in the bottom right hand corner, but really this is, this is a majority of the first one. I'm just going to scroll uh, a little bit ahead here because there's not much to see, but I am curious to know, uh, once we have the rally pop, I want to see what that first report actually looks like and i think the reports are sent to me as well in my um in my mail from this player the yeeters player who uh you know who sent these to me once again shout out to them but here it is first rally reports from gangzi you can see uh the rally lost 6.8 million power but the player lost 18.6 million power and again i think that this was the first rally on the city so yeah we'll take a look in just a second but here we have 3.3 million units for the rally 6.3 like i showed you before units for the garrison we have 956,000 deads on the rally hopefully those are farm troops i'm really hoping because that's a lot of dead troops to take from you know a, a zeroing of your own player in your own kingdom also 1.8 million dead troops for the garrison so a two to one dead trade here uh very crazy stuff taking a look at the kill points 14.5 million kill points for the zeroed player but 37.4 million kill points for the rally so very impressive rally here very uh i mean that first one was gonna hurt no matter what right i mean this as you can see they're sending the report to me uh but really like kind of no matter what you do when you hit a player that's this much power like the first rally is gonna hurt really bad and here we can see the power of this player after the first rally so after that first one there's still 99.2 million power and remember they lost 18.6 million power right so that means that this player was at least uh 117 million power something like that it's possible that they were hit 
uh, once before and then canceled with a smaller power loss there not really sure I don't have any data on that but yeah zeroing a player that's 117 million power anything over 100 is like that's a pretty substantial undertaking that first rally is going to hurt here we have the second rally coming in and this is a much shorter obviously rally this is about two minutes the footage for this one um and once again the white numbers are just disgusting here from the Attila Takeda just absolutely crushing this garrison very good uh rally reports or very good rally damage I should say from Gangzi over here so shout out to Gangzi of course with the uh general title so I'm not sure I don't know uh, Gangzi's affiliation with the kingdom I don't know if that's like one of the kings or our force or something like that not really sure but uh either way like very impressive stuff here they're on yellow already and remember this being the second rally means that this would have been a 99 million power player at the time of the rally first uh connecting so let's go ahead and jump through here see what the outcome is of course they're already on red not getting any reinforcements because players are clearly upset about this dude not contributing during kvk so uh here we have rudo probably coming in here to try and jump in on the action right so we got to see what happens here at the very end and it pops once again the player is burning baby there it is we have 4 million power loss for the rally and 20.6 million power loss for the player we see here the trade even better and this is where like that first one is was great but it was like a good report this is an insane report right you have 580,000 dead troops to two point almost 2.2 million dead troops for the city and you can see that they started with way fewer troops than they did the first time 4.3 million we have 41 million kill points for the rally and 8.5 million kill points for the garrison so truly an impressive rally here very nice I think they're gonna send it to me once again here yes they are anyway here we have the third rally I didn't unfortunately get the power of special one after that second rally but here we have the third rally hitting and these just get shorter and shorter this one is about a minute long this rally uh very you know it is what it is this dude is hitting like a truck and special one is running out of troops you can't really take too many trades like the previous two trades we just saw without getting absolutely clapped and of course this guy's offline he's not healing the hospital he doesn't even know that this is happening and to this day at the time of recording this I think special one still has not logged in so anyway already down to ready or didn't really need any reinforcements you could see that there's dudes just chilling right next to him there's really nothing that uh that they needed to do here and um that's pretty much it special one has been popped and burned for a third time let's see what this rally report looks like here ladies and gentlemen and uh we'll see just how badly this this one actually hurt so here we have a 1.8 million power loss for the rally and a 14.2 million power loss for the garrison 250,000 deads for the rally and 1.5 million deads for the garrison an absolutely insane trade here uh we love to see it okay we have 28.6 million kill points for the rally and almost 4 million kill points for the garrison but oof, man that trade is absolutely ridiculous here we have the fourth rally I'm kind of losing track here but we have the fourth rally coming in here and already on yellow I mean this is a 20 second rally is really really not much to see here folks this dude is getting absolutely clapped at this point already burning let's take a look let's see what we've got here as the rally report I think this was the fourth rally report we have 410,000 power loss for the rally and 4.8 million power loss for the garrison this is a 10 to 1 dead trade here 52,000 deads for the rally and 523,000 deads for the garrison 9.6 million kill points for the rally and not even a million kill points for the garrison truly insane stuff here and in case you guys were wondering what the stats look like for the rally and garrison we can take a look here and see that there's only one relic actually for the rally so it looks like I'm pretty sure this is Attila's relic but we do not have the Takeda relic unfortunately but the relic coins get really expensive here so even for whales like they might be running out of this stuff but anyway I'm going to assume that the Gorgo Hera did not have gear on it because the Attila Takeda has literally more infantry attack and defense than the garrison so yikes also no extra base health here so there must be literally no gear on this and that is uh, a mistake if you're gonna have a meta garrison as your rally or as your city garrison then you probably should have gear on it right like what what is going on here anyway look at the attack on this this is an absolute monster of a rally for, uh, for Attila Takeda and of course Attila Takeda is known for having an insane amount of attack already also they're in KVK so they've got the crystal tech as well so 
yeah insane stuff here plus 16 base health so just absolutely uh insane stuff here they're missing like one iconic point here in defense truly impressive stuff where we love to see a 20 percent all damage oh my god the 12 percent normal damage bonus actually disgusting absolutely disgusting we love to see it anyway at the very end here they ended up just doing a quick little swarm i assume that this player probably had some amount of resources that they were taken back home basically or they were just doing a quick cleanup because a an additional rally was not needed gangzi city is not even present for the swarming so they they knew mission was accomplished anyway that is how a whale gets zeroed right we had a hundred and let's say 120 million power whale down to 58.7 million power and they had 8.5 billion kill points i wish that i was able to actually see uh their account but this is simply a picture that i took before their account disappeared luckily i did that but I wish I could show you the breakdown, but I did check before. This is a majority tier five kills. Regardless, the question is, how is a player like this dead weight, right? And I think that this is a big topic of discussion that a lot of people have. Uh, this is something that I personally see a lot. People look at my kill points and they're like, Omniarch, you're a farmer. And I'm not going to deny that the first like year of me playing the game. I mean, for a lot of it, I just wasn't, I just wasn't there. Right. Uh, I was playing the game mega casually. It is what it is. It was only after I hit T5 and started making videos for the game. That's when I started to take it a little bit more seriously, but I also had a job where I was working literally every single weekend. And so if there was a big pass opening on like a Friday or Saturday, like GG, I'm just not going to be there. And unfortunately that was a lot of my earlier days in rise of kingdom so my kill points are not very impressive and yet for the past few kvks i've exceeded the 30 million kill achievement for each of those kvks and i've been going beyond what the requirements are uh, for my kingdom at least for a player of my power and so for me my kingdom would not consider me dead weight despite having way less kill points than this guy and that's one of the things where it's like kill points no longer really tell you the full story of a player because the game has been around for over six years at this point right and so these kill points could have very easily been attained two years ago and they haven't done a single thing since now i don't know the actual deal with special one was it the case that maybe this was the second kvk that he didn't meet requirements maybe it was the first kvk maybe it was the third fourth fifth and they gave this guy a million different warnings i don't know what the details are there but what i can say is that kill points almost don't mean anything it's more so what have you done for me lately not what have you done ever right what you've done ever is not that important but it's what have you done recently that actually matters and so that's why for a lot of kingdoms kill points aren't really like you know it obviously they're important to look at like if you have zero kill points then what are you doing right but the real big thing is when did you get those kill points did you get them in the last year did you get them in the last you know 18 months if not then it's like you might as well have you know zero kill points right and that's one of the things that i find most frustrating is that you know there's a lot of players that live and die by their kill point ranking when they know deep down that a lot of those kill points are from a long time ago a lot of those kill points were kill feeding a lot of those kill points are from mightiest governor in your home kingdom right so i just wanted to make this video to kind of address kill points as a metric i'm pretty sure shappy gaming has also made a video talking about this and how the definition of dead weight kind of has to be changed uh it is no longer like a black and white thing like people would say oh well if you don't have five billion kill points you're dead weight it's like no no just no or you're not a good player until you hit the 10 billion kill point mark it's like yeah it's it's cool to get that but how did you get it and when did you get it those are what matter the most so i wanted to make this video talking about this and explaining to you guys how 8.5 billion kill points you can still be a dead weight if you're not pulling your weights in every kvk and by the way i don't want you guys to think i'm just like dunking on this special one player i don't actually know them they could have been an insane player throughout their entire rise of kingdoms career all that i got from gangzi was that they had zero contribution to their kvk and gangzi said that they used to play all right so this player could have been a, an absolute savage for the past few years i don't want like this video to be like their reputation is being a dead weight. obviously they have 8.5 
1.5 billion kill points like that's insane right like they they must have gotten that at some point and so I just want to be very clear here that I'm not like accusing them of being a bad player clearly they got the kill points at some point it's just recently they hadn't been uh I guess they hadn't been contributing anyway guys let me know what you think about this in the comments section below do you think that kingdoms spend too much time or I should say players spend too much time obsessing over kill points let me know in the comment section below and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace